weather outside um, a bit uh, to the cold side here in um, the arena adding to the uh, slow playing conditions uh, we're experiencing here in Vova uh, this is how things have unfolded uh, earlier on today this is uh, day four of uh, competition in the uh, Sports Palace Carolina Marine and we're turning our attention to women's doubles where we're going to find the uh, opponents for Lee Sohee and Shin Sung Chan. If you were with us earlier you would have seen the Koreans in magnificent form against the uh, Hoshi and uh, Matsuda. So players on their way on court on Su Yao and Yuan Xin Ying from uh, Hong Kong up against uh, Pearly Tan and uh, Tiramuna Muralitaran from um, Malaysia the uh, new and upcoming women's doubles combination from uh, Malaysia done so well throughout this year So, and, uh, Yuan on the uh, coin toss and then elect to uh, serve. Perlitan will uh, receive and um, players will stay on the sides where they have their kit boxes. Let's see how when Yuan Sing Ying they haven't played since uh, haven't played the tournament since um, 2020 they have two uh, tournament wins to their CV won the Hyderabad Open back in 2018 defeating Vivian Hu and uh, Yak Cheng Wen and the Singapore Satellite the same year defeating fellow countrymen here is the Profile of Unsei Yao, 23 years of age. Born in uh, Hong Kong. 161 centimeters high, that's 5 foot 3 or so. Here is uh, Yuan Xin Ying, 27 years. Highest rank ever, 28. They're falling down to 57. Haven't played a whole lot, as I mentioned, since. Um, um, all England uh, 2020. These two. In the first round of uh, this tournament, they defeated Julie McPherson and Kiara Torrance from uh, Scotland. Hot fought match uh, lasted over an hour. Here's Pauli 20 year old from uh, Malaysia, born in uh, Kedah northwest of uh, the Malaysian Peninsula on the border of uh, Thailand. Five foot five and uh, moved to the sports school Bukit Jalil in uh, Kuala Lumpur when she was uh, 13 years old. Tinamura Litaran, almost same height as uh, her partner, born in uh, Selangor, just west of uh, Kuala Lumpur. Half an hour west of. She's got one women's singles title to her CV, won the Iran International back in 2018 with uh, Li Yingying. Umpire Jakob Sinberg from uh, Denmark and uh, service judge is um, Kulkani. Tan and uh, Tina, they've um, won four titles in their partnership, started their partnership back in uh, 2019 in Malaysia International and won the tournament over Kusuma and uh, Sugiyata from Indonesia and then won India Challenge and Bangladesh Challenge but the big uh, breakthrough in my opinion was when they won Swiss Open earlier on this year defeated the Nostoeva sisters in um, the final on that occasion 
since then they've um, experienced tough opposition but uh, definitely established themselves amongst the top of the uh, world women's double currently ranked 16 the best placement uh, so far the match is on the way situation wrong in the beginning of the match it was actually Pony Kong who started serving and the Hong Kong player who chose to receive and so you with the um, service Considered as uh, Malaysia's strongest women's double at the moment. Tan and um, Tina. That's a good challenge. Oh, was indeed um, out. Highest ranked Malaysian uh, women's doubles is uh, Chomei Kwan and um, Li Meng Yin. But um, Chomei Kwan has um, resigned from uh, Badminton Association of uh, Malaysia and uh, Li Meng Yin in uh, a new combination with uh, Yap Ling. Masculino, men's doubles. Akira Koka, Daichi Saito, Japan. Chongwen, uh, Lee, they were the Olympic participants from Malaysia. shoulder the uh, responsibilities uh, turn and uh, Tina um, you've seen that uh, Hong Kong has done well in the doubles categories in uh, mixed and women's doubles in this tournament to win their third consecutive uh, mixed doubles title. That's not going to happen. Lost the very last match uh, yesterday. Uh, 
Um lingão. Um lingão, mas não são. Uh... Pão, tão, pão. Another small upset in the women's doubles when she, uh, together with her partner, defeated uh, 16 seats made on in uh, Rome. Mm, patient play, but um, when the attack finally uh, was launched, not the uh, required quality. Yeah, that's a good drop shot from uh, Pony Tan. Quite hard hitting uh, Tan. Using that threat to uh, play these accurate drop shots as winners. Tarantino played the uh, Sudiaman Cup for uh, Malaysia and then uh, Denmark Open lost to the Olympic champions in the first round in a Hartford three game match and on to uh, France and then all three tournaments in uh, the Indonesia Badminton Festival where they qualified for the uh, season finale finished uh, Third in the group, defeated uh, Kitty Harakon and Put Jung Chai. We missed it. Like the uh, idea of going. Uh, all the way across there, but Tina um, Morita and she overdid it a little bit. That's well played. Oh, there's a lot of strapping on uh, the right shoulder of Politan. I didn't see that. So, three point advantage for the seed combination from uh, Malaysia as we head to the uh, mid game interval 11 8.
，每個人工作其中嘅方法咧係話，公務員你你公務員同消防有乜關？幾多生效？好，最後，快，主席，各組，快，主席，鄭俊福。Yeah, the uh, coach for uh, Hong Kong. Come on, Malaysia, international uh, practice partner with the uh, Malaysian coach Chen Chumin. In their heydays. Stays in. Return by Pelletan. Well left. Uh, there's a challenge that's called in. Thought it looked uh, wide, and so did uh, Tina Muralitaran. The verdict? Yeah. Again by uh, Tina. Very patient play from uh, both pairs here in um, the opening stages of uh, this second round match. Tina and Tina, their first match in the tournament. Well, that's a difficult uh, decision. It's called good. And uh, no objection from Unseal. Uh, I thought that could uh, possibly be worth a challenge. Yeah. So, the run of points comes to an end here. Six straight points for Tarantina from 8 all to 14 8, and creating uh, an advantage that's. Short service from Yuan Xinying. Oh, that's well controlled according to the line judge. But uh, a challenge from uh, Yuan. a little bit hesitant the call from uh, the line judge. Let's see what Hong says. Oh, she got it right. Rally by uh, the Malaysians, and they're not really doing a lot to take the initiative. Um, Ung and uh, Yuan. Strapping on Ponytan's shoulder. Good move. 
Martina looking for an opportunity, it wasn't there, so just uh, continued. In level position. Oh, you could save. <laughs> what a rally! Must be the longest rally of the match so far. Yeah, it was. Wow, behind her left shoulder. She caught that one. Get it to the uh, back line. Lots of the shots, only to the first of the two tram lines at the back of the court. As um, he reached 11 Malaysian game points, scored 12 out of the last uh, 14 points. That's a great drop shot. Took the top of the tape and uh, secured the first game for uh, Perlitan and uh, Tina Muralitharan. Here is confirmation after 18 minutes of play. 21-10 for the Malaysians. Simberg's called 20 seconds and we're ready to uh, resume play here with the um, second game in women's doubles. It's um, probably 10 with the service and she and uh, Tina Moralitharan took the first game 21 10. It's a more aggressive start here from the beginning of uh, the second game. So in the, the first. Uh, 
she was there. Pony ten, but um, missed the opportunity. That's a well placed clear from uh, Tina. Confusion in the uh, Hong Kong team with the Yuan Nu was gonna return it. Oh, that's a beautiful play. Excellent drop shot by. Union Singh. We know this uh, match will face uh, Lee So Hee and uh, Shin Sung Chen in uh, tomorrow's pre quarters, and that's going to be. A tough challenge. A couple of matches ago. Some of the uh, Koreans played very well against uh, Asura and Hoshi from uh, Japan in their second round match. To start to the second game here for Ung and uh, Yen. See how She should have left that one, that would have gone wide. Long, long rally here. Good save. And that's gone long. And it's uh, Ung and Yuan who continues the uh, momentum they've had here in uh, the start of the second game. As uh, Tina Moralitha and Ask Jakob Simba for a quick tail down. What a rally! They were under huge pressure there, Politan and uh, Tina, but eventually got the uh, things changed around. 
There, the pirate uh, defense from uh, Politan. And then the uh, interception from uh, Tina at the net. It was Yuen and Ng who were the controlling pair in this uh, rally, but um, no guarantee that you'll win it. It's an interesting uh, match here because I don't think any of the pairs feel that they have the firepower to sort of uh, stamp their mark on the match. Um, they've got to uh, open up the court, look for small opportunities, small openings, inaccurate uh, play from the opponents and then seize the opportunity when that occurs so a total change of events here as uh, it's uh, Xiao and Yun Ying takes the lead in the second game 11-3 So Tarantino has had a chance to evaluate what's happened here in the second game for Ung and uh, Yuan. I think it's mostly been uh, appraisal from uh, Chung Chan Fok. Uh, I think the lead is so big now that um, it's fair to question whether it's possible for Tarantino to come back in uh, this second game. I think it's a big chance that we'll be treated to a decider here. very alert as to not um, opening up too early not risking any uh, counter-attacking play from uh, their opponents oh that's a beautiful 
Excellent play from uh, Pauli Tan. On the long, long rally, and um, I think that's going to be the case for a big part of the, the remainder of this match here. Mostly due to uh, the playing conditions, cold weather here in um, Cueva and uh, in the arena and uh, shuttles that are to the slow side. That's what conducted the attack there. To uh, close the gap is uh, Tan and uh, Tina. The question is, has the uh, advantage become too big to uh, get back for the Malaysians here? I think Yuan and uh, on the plate brilliantly in the second game very patient good shot quality sort of uh, playing these shots that uh, tease the malaysians to uh, go for something creative but um, they've almost entirely been on the wrong side of those decisions uh, here in the second game Trailing by eight at the mid-game interval. 
was um, Tarantino. Now six points adrift. Make that five. Right, that's a good flicker. Miss hit. Good pace on the uh, flat play from uh, onto Yarl there. too sharp and I don't think the Malaysians have high hopes of uh, getting back in uh, this second game and uh, the way I see it they should more or less abandon it simply playing as safe as possible preventing your opponents from uh, hurting you, not necessarily going for the win yourself, but uh, waiting for the right opportunity. And we can see Peritan is uh, sort of uh, uh, waving her arm, shaking it. Um, these long rallies is taking its toll on uh, the Malaysian. Getting all the action almost. It's going to be a very, very interesting uh, third game because it's going to take a lot of uh, tactical uh, awareness from both pairs to uh, get the upper hand because, of course, Malaysia. Pair and uh, Chen Chong Ming, their coach, will figure out something to uh, take a countermeasure against the uh, plan of Yuan and uh, Hong Ziyao. So, there's the second game. To uh, Ang Si Yao and uh, Yuan Xin Ying. Clever, solid play by uh, the Hong Kong pair. It was uh, Tarantino who looked for most of the uh, possibilities, but um, it's a little bit too anxious to uh, find the uh, winning shots.
Ball two, 20 seconds. Ball two, 20 seconds. So, third and final game underway here, from uh, what we saw in the second game, a bit of uh, advantage in my opinion to uh, Yuan Xinjing and uh, Wang Ziyao. here where the pairs are very patient trying to uh, lure the opponents into uh, a situation where they attack a little bit out of position question mark is whether you and then uh, Ern will um, target Politan here again she's shaking her arm outside the picture not entirely good that um, black strapping she's got on her right shoulder is not only a precaution and drops. I haven't really noticed whether I've seen Palitan play two smashes in a row but um, I doubt we'll see it again at least. is away. Excellent play by Yuan Xin Ying. Long, long rallies. And then finally, an opportunity opens up. So this is going to be a battle of uh, patience. And uh, that's exactly what uh, Ang and Yuan are looking for. Desperation moves from uh, the Malaysian pair. Shoulders not getting any better. Well, it turns right shoulder. Big advantage to uh, the women in red here. You and Sin Ying with the serve. To me, it's 
obvious that uh, Tarantino have got to um, do something different here. You know, they scored a couple of good points, easy points, so they are really valuable. But uh, there was two smashes in a row and a nice drop shot. I think it's um, better for the Malaysians if um, they have Tina as the uh, backcourt player. here. In reality, out of the blue, in my opinion. Six, five. Very uh, puzzling. Possibilities there for the Malaysians when um, Tina can direct the attack to uh, the right side of the court there, to the outer side of um, that player standing in the right side, then uh, opportunities for Politan for interception at the net. Change of events. A two five. I thought it was totally controlled by Ung uh, and uh, Yuan. It's basically been the uh, total opposite since then. choice from Pony Tan. chance no
Well played. Patient play again. On the Hong Kong pair. to uh, Ronsiao and uh, Yuan Xinyi here at the uh, mid-game interval in the third game. Three points up and um, going to the uh, side where they won the second game. The near side of the court here where both previous games have been won. Opportunity for advice from the coaches. That's not entirely true because um, they can shout instructions into their players, but um, it's um, much more limited what you can um, convey when the uh, match is uh, going on. Deception on uh, the drop shots from uh, Puritan, and they're well placed, but there's not really any threat from her because her smash has, has not been um, as powerful as we've seen them uh, earlier in the year. Desperate swing. Hoping for a, a hit, it became a miss. somehow prevail here and I don't see they have um, a lot of chance against uh, Lee So Hee and uh, Xin Xiong Chan with um, the condition that uh, Paritan's shoulder apparently is in at the moment. Great point for Yuan Xinjing and uh, An Se Yao.
this was the game that won the Hong Kong pair the second game. Um, they're hoping that it will be enough to secure the match. It's going wide. I don't think they can afford that, the Malaysians. Really, really clever play by Hung and uh, Yuan. And it, it looks easy. It's not easy because you have to be totally in sync with your partner as to what is happening and um, and where you're going to play it. Um, because you need to be two to uh, cover the court and uh, make the right selections so that uh, you don't give opportunities away. Because of course, Tina Moralitter and she will be looking for possibilities to help a partner. I wonder if this was the longest rally of the match so far. There has been a lot of long rallies. Ninety-four shots. Was the longest rally. Yeah, it's only going one way. That's the Hong Kong way here on uh, court number two. Started so well, the Malaysian pair, but um, Ong Tzu Yao and Yuan Xin Ying, they found an answer from the uh, goal in the second game. They've been the dominant pair in uh, this match here. Also, we have to uh, say that because Pauli Tan's shoulder is not totally uh, in order. Had the shovels been 
a little bit faster than uh, there would have been possibilities for Tina Moralitharan to uh, set up opportunities, but um, she simply can't penetrate the uh, solid basic game of uh, Ong Tsui Hao and uh, Yuan Xin Ying. They're now two points away from uh, earning a spot in the uh, pre-quarters. The pair from Hong Kong who hasn't played a match since March 2020. One and a half years time. That is uh, a challenge. It's called out. I also think that was uh, correct, but I wouldn't rule out that it might have a touch of the line. Let's see what uh, Hong Kong says. Here it comes. And it was indeed out. Unsuccessful. One miss it. I think his ring's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Tina's trying to get out and change her racket because the string is gone, but uh, it's very, that, now there's an opportunity. She's gone, and uh, Pernit Tan is playing singles. More later on is back. Yeah, good opportunity. Well, spotted by Yun Xin Ying. And uh, 10 match points for the Hong Kong pair strong strong tactical uh, performance by uh, the Hong Kong pair Stayed on uh, the Hong Kong side. an opportunity. No one there to take advantage of it. There it is. It's landed in and uh, Victory for uh, Un Tzu Yao and uh, Yuan Xin Ying. Very, very disciplined performance by uh, the Hong Kong pair. Exploiting that um, Pauli Tan was not totally uh, match fit in terms of her right shoulder. That lands on the line and uh, these two in uh, red here, they are through to the third round of the uh, World Championship. Facing Lee So Hee and uh, Shin Sung Chan in the third round. Here is confirmation of the score 21, 21 12, 21 11 in an hour and seven minutes. So.
Coming up next is uh, women's single here. It's the second seed, Akane Yamaguchi. She's up against Lina Kjasvold from Denmark, just after the highlights. Well, a very big thank you to Steen Pedersen and also to Paul Hand earlier who've been here live throughout the day. We're at the Palacio de los Deportes, better known as the Carolina Marin Sports Palace for live action on day four of the 2021 Total Energies BWF World Championships. I'm Bobby Griffin introducing the next match on court number two, 